Hey everybody, Ryle13, um, bringing you uh, a Magic the Gathering, Ravnica Alliance, Allegiance, sorry, uh, box opening, uh, booster box opening. We are, yeah, just doing this. I had a friend of mine um, say he enjoys the booster box openings, and I've been playing a lot more Magic nowadays, and I just felt... I was going to pick up a booster box, and then I might as well open it on camera. Um, I picked this one up from Breakaway Sports Cards, Deathcom. I did not pick it up online, I picked it up in the store. It's a local store for me, but uh, they have great prices, actually. Um, they're having a sale on the uh, Ravnica Allegiance. Uh, it was 114 bucks for me, Canadian. So, if my math is right at the current rate, that's like... 84 93 85 bucks US. So that's pretty good for a booster box, guys. <laughs> um, it does not come with a buy box. Or, but but uh, the thing is, we're on War of the Spark. Uh, currently is the current one. But this upcoming weekend, I know Modern Horizons is about to come out on the pre-release. So uh, I'm hoping to go and maybe pick up a box of that. We'll see. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely planning on going to the pre-release. I'm gonna see yeah, if I'm gonna order a box ahead of time on that uh, and that, if I do that I get a basically a week early I think cuz yeah it's, it's a week early I think than everybody else you can if you add a pre-release you can order the, the boxes that's how they're doing it right now anyways let's get right into this let's open this up let's uh, slip this here I don't want to ruin the box too much I'm just trying to cut it Come on. There we go. There we go. I got that. Let's right open. There we go. Boom. Let's toss that aside. Okay. And, yeah. So, brand new. Uh, I did not have a lot of these cards. Now, price-wise, I don't think these cards have crazy, crazy expensive stuff in them currently. I think um, the lands in here are really good if you can get the uh, the land the dual lands that came in these. Um, let's toss this box aside. Uh, and I'm sorry about that noise that you're hearing. Oh, I just bumped into the camera there with my head. Um, that is my fan from my PC. I, I need to change the PC fan. Um, it comes in really loud in this. It's super quiet to be in my room. <laughs> It's a very faint background hum, but on the camera it sounds way louder, I noticed. Okay, so we're going to push these forward. We're just going to open these one pack at a time. Like I said, we're hunting the lands. Um, I'm trying to remember what else was good in these. Let me quickly click on this. So I think Kaya was good. And, oh yeah, the one that's going for the most right now is the Hydroid Crisis. So if we hit one of those, those are, those are money. So let's try this out. I have no nails, so this is, I'm going to get frustrated really quickly, I can tell. Alright, actually I'm going to move these just over here, guys. Let's try from the bottom, see? The bottom one. Okay. And... I don't think there's any codes in these. Okay. No, just open. Okay. So, let's see. Throw Collapse, Spear Secure, 10th District, yeah. Actus Locket, there's nothing crazy. I did, like I said, I didn't have a lot of these cards, so here we go. We're getting in the Uncommon. Sphinx of New, of New Prava. I'm going to be horrible on pronunciation. Uh, Macabre Mockery, Syndicate Guild Mage, uh, Biomancer's Familiar, and Rakdos Guildgate. There we go. Uh, is that one of the ones? No, I'm looking for, like, Blood Crypt and stuff. What, 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 what happened here? What happened here? Did I not get a rare? Can these packs literally come without rares? Is that, is that a thing in this? A Goblin Token? I, I guess these packs <laughs> don't get you. That that is that is crazy. No, okay, so that no, I'm I'm just blind. 
I am just very blind. I went through them really quickly and I skipped the rare. I, no, okay, fire missiles from there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just going nuts, guys. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm just going completely nuts. So we're going to do uncommons. We're going to do... We're just going to put these in a pile. Unless I hit a mythic or something. The rares and the uh, uncommons can go together for now. Okay. Let's go to pack two. I totally just brain farted there and somehow missed that rare. I totally didn't see that gold rare symbol. Okay, so gravel hide. Uh, vampire. Eh. Dead revels. I like this card. Rafter demon. Azorius. Blade. Skewer. Growth. Okay, here's the good stuff. We got ourselves a frilled mystic. Oh, gates of blaze. I like the art. Essence capture. And, ooh, Nikia of the Old Ways, legendary creature. Considering I play a ton of commander, I'm happy to get uh, her. And then a Gruel Guild Gate. I don't think the Guild Gates, yeah, the Guild Gates are not worth a ton. It's the ones I'm looking for are like uh, Blood Crypt and Godless Shrine, Breeding Pool, right? Those are what the, those are all the ones that are worth something. Okay. Uh, okay, so. Sorry, my phone went off. Uh, I can't change that while I'm doing this. Um, okay, so. We got a Rubble Belt Runner. Tent. Spear Skewer. Ooh. Footlight Fiend. Man and Spider. Final Payment. Active Treason. Oh, 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 we got the Depose Deploy. So that's our first of uh, our uncommons there. Vindictive Vampire, the Watchdog, and Breeding Pool. There we go. That's worth money. Uh, I think that's the second uh, priciest one of the set. I think this is sitting still around like 14 bucks US or 13 50 something. Yeah, pretty sure. And then there's a guild gate. Alright, next pack. I am literally, I think, just ripping these apart. I don't want to damage the card. Okay. Gore Clan. Impassion Orator. Gift of Strength. Uh, let's see. I gotta bring these up a little, maybe. Uh, uh, is that the good spot? Maybe that's the good spot. Footlight Fiend, Senate Griffin, Simic Locket, Deface, Gateway Plaza, Root Snare, okay, High Alert, okay, so High Alert was our first, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Wilderness Reclamation, Code of Constraint, and Pestilent Spirit. No idea what that's worth. Uh, I don't think it's high. Might be worth a couple bucks, might not be. Simic Guild Gate. Okay, and then a human token. Okay, no mythics yet. I'm interested to see if I pull a mythic out of this. I think, like I said, all those lands are, uh, those, those lands are worth more than the mythics in the pack. <laughs> so the Breeding Pool, Godless Shrine, Blood Crypt, I think it was stalking, Stomping Grounds, Hollowed Fountain? I think, I think that's, and uh, maybe, there's something else, but I don't think it was land. I'm trying to remember the other one. But anyway, those are all worth, like, nine, ten bucks-ish range. Alright. Uh, and that's in the U.S. Uh, so, Gravel Hide, Vampire, Sage Rogue, Gift of Strength, Flip Light Fiend, Act of Treason, Get the Point, Just a Curse Portal, Final Payment, okay, so that's the comments. And we're into uncommons. Gate of Colossus. Interesting card. Uh, Rhyme of the Wild. Ooh. Fireblade Artist. And... Kaya! Nice. Okay. So Kaya is like sitting around uh, 950 uh, to something US. I've, I've seen different prices. I've seen ones where it's saying she's like 10, the 950 and then I've seen ones I think where she, they're saying she's even higher. Uh, she's a nice mythic though. 
So, yeah. Oh, and there we go. Foil. My first foil out of these packs. Second, that's nice and shiny. I like the art. I like the the arrows with the like the greenish feathers on the arrows and in the foil. Okay, cool. Um, you want to separate the mythic, like I said. That's our first mythic. I'm gonna put that mythic and the foil down here because they just look shiny. Nice. That looks shiny. That looks beautiful. Uh, yeah. See, I've heard that she's also, like I said, 950. Okay, and then I just literally clicked the, the my computer's in front of me. Uh, I clicked the page, and it's this this one saying she's almost 25 bucks, US, and that she's gone up. She's been going up. So yeah, the prices I'm going off of. I'm looking at TCG Player and I'm looking at MTG uh, Goldfish, and Goldfish is saying she's 25 bucks. So. But uh, TCG is saying she's only 950. Weirdly enough, nah, that's a really big price difference. <laughs> eh, who knows? Either way, she's worth some money. She's a nice bull. Okay. What do we got? We got Spike Wheel Acrobat has uh, the officer anyway. Arrestor's Abomination. Carrying it. I like the carrying it. There's the Arrows of Folly again, but regular. Zori's Locket, Blade Brand, yeah. Uh, Skewer the Critics, Growth Spiral, Clear the Mind, and now we're into the Uncommon. So we got the Rakdos Fire Wheeler. Oop. We got Eyes Everywhere, Orthov Enforcer, Death Touch. Okay, that's cool. And, oh, we got a Blood Crypt. We got a Blood Crypt. Uh, that makes me happy. Blood Crypt is one of those, again, like I'm saying, that's like a 10 buck card. At least. US. So I'm happy with that. that that's that's also money. Um, I'm doing pretty well here, guys. Uh, if she ends up being like 25 bucks... <laughs> yeah, she pays for like one-fourth of the box on her own. Because uh, she's in US, that's going to be like 30-something Canadian, probably. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Twitch TV. I never watch any of these videos. I do watch some uh, magic YouTubers and uh, whatnot, mostly. Um, I've been watching a lot of uh, Bad Boy Gaming, uh, Joey Moss. Uh, I've been watching Command Zone with uh, Josh Lee Kwai and Jimmy. Um, and Loading Ready Run. Uh, I've been, yeah. Uh, Scorch Mark. I have been watching some Merchant um, for Arena stuff. Magic the Gathering Arena. Summer Judgment. Caretaker. Binding. Oh, oh, oh. Depose Deploy. I, 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 I like these cards. These double cards. They, it just, what I don't like is me and does the print become tiny. <laughs> like the little, to see the guild symbols, right? This, they've got little tiny, tiny things. Uh, so Vindictive Vampire. And hey everybody. I think I'm recording again. Um, yeah, right in the middle of that, just as I was talking there, uh, my battery went dead on my camera, which was weird because I literally tested it and it said it was at full battery just before I started. Um, don't know what's going on. Here's the battery that crapped out on me. <laughs> um, it is feeling kind of hot. So, yeah, I'm going to have to check this battery out after. Um, I have spares, so, I don't know. I didn't use this camera last. I, I lent it to my sister to uh, film some, uh, like, uh, mountain biking or something. I don't know. She took it out in the woods. Um, so maybe she didn't recharge my battery properly. <laughs> I don't know, when I started, it said it was at full battery, so, yeah, I don't know, it uh, concerns me that uh, that went down. Anyway, I didn't continue on, I was right in the middle of this pack, we were like talking about this and how this tiny symbols, and then I went to the Vindictive Vampire, um, so yeah, I just popped in a new battery and we're, we're uh, filming, I'm going to edit it together after, I guess. Um, so yeah, so I was on, went through the Vindictive Vampire, Fireblade Artist, and Tithe Taker is our... Uh, is our rare 
and then Guildgate, Warsaw, and a Frog Lizard. I like the Frog Lizard. Oh, no idea what the Tight Thicker is worth. He might be worth something, he might not. He might be worth like Deadly Squad. <laughs> Uh, I'm seeing he's, oh no, okay, I'm seeing that, you know, he's worth like three bucks or so. Three twenty-one, something like that. So, yeah, that's decent. Um, I'm kind of making my money back in this, su surprisingly, pretty quickly. I thought I wouldn't, because there, there's a lot of stuff in here that's uh, not that high, high-end cards. But I'm consistently on the rares hitting like, couple bucks, so I'm, I'm happy with that. So next pack, um, Arrestor Zeal, Shimmer Possibility, Feral, Maraca, Maraca, Maka, Maka, I think it's Maka, Knight of Sorrows, uh, I'm not going to go through all the comments guys, I'm just going to show them, ooh, I love this one, this is a great common, Ill-Gotten Inheritance, this is, this, if you're running popper decks guys, in, in Arena or in real life, this this card can be great. At the beginning of your upkeep, ill-gotten inheritance deals one damage to each opponent, and you gain one life. And then for five and a black, sacrifice ill-gotten inheritance. It deals four damage to target opponent, and you gain four life. So you pull this out for four. Uh, it's as an enchantment, and it just sits there, pinging them all the time and giving you life gain. And then when they're close or they're at like four, blow them up, blow it up, and kill them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love this in popper decks. Anything with black, black, white. I love this in popper decks. Life gain, whatever. Uh, get to the point. Pitless Pointiff. Okay, yeah, Pitless Pointiff was our first one, sorry. Of the uncommons. Cult. Guild Mage. It's always weird to me that Rakdos is like a weird death carnival. <laughs> uh, but whatever. Okay, Tower Defense. And then I kind of spoiled it there, but it's Awaken the Erstwhile. For our rare. Uh, again, no idea what that one's kicking around on. It's not super high. I know that much. I know that one is not a crazy high. And then, Azorius Guild Gate. And then, ooh, I like the goblins. These are good tokens. Like, I like the look of that goblin. Uh, the ones from, what was it, Ixlon? I think it was Ixlon. They, were, they looked like weird blue monkeys. <laughs> Those are interesting. Little pirate monkeys. Uh, yeah, it depends on the set, right? It, it does depend on the set, not how the goblins look. Uh, what was the other goblins that didn't have the name of goblins? Bogarts or something? Something like that, yeah. Alright. Ooh, Spear Spewer. Goblin Warrior, yeah. Tenth Dextra Veteran, Fairy Duelist. Stony Strength, Undercity Embrace, Exposed to Daylight, Crystal Toast Mice, Sphinx's Insight, Sphinx's Insight, sorry, Burn Bright, Senate Courier, and our friend, oh, Shakto Crab. I don't think this card is great, but it is really cool art, it is a really cool concept. <laughs> Fish Octopus Crab, Shakto Crab. I would run it in some decks just just for to run it. Like it's it's a four 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 with adaptive one, uh, that you pay two a green and a blue. Right, and one or more plus one plus are put on shark to crab top target creature and opponent control. So you want know if you ran this in a proliferate deck, yeah, you you can make that work probably. Okay, so dagger caster, Shino Rogue, gate breaker ram. That's an interesting card too. Uh, and race forerunners. Uh, again, probably worth like a buck or so, but I don't think that's a crazy high end card. Like five with three grain, right? It's it's hard to bring it. It's got a nice thing: vigilance, trample, and haste. Right? It's it's a nice card if you can get it up, but that's a high. That's a steep cost. <laughs> that's eight to pull this guy out. Okay. Uh, so the one I'm looking at mostly for uh, the price list here that I'm is uh, the TCG player currently, um, which I don't know if that's up to date daily or not. I actually didn't think about that. 
but that's the one that, uh, I don't know, I'm just sitting on. It made more sense to me. Uh, to check out. MTG uh, Goldfish, I like as well, but uh, you can also check out cardkingdom.com. Then they got, uh, I think they update the price list pretty very awesome. So, okay, so the officer, persistent precisioner, partitioners, ah, rebel belt runner, uh, X Bane Beast. Ooh, Rectus Trumpeteer. Didn't realize that that was a black card. Huh. Senate. Courier, Azorus, Abretter, Gruel Locket, Frenzies, Ar Arnex, Arnex, Arfaz Locket. Here we go. Troll Breed Guardian. Uh, drill Bit. Collusion. No, col Collision Colossus, I think. And Immortal Shaman. Uh, Again, I don't know. I think he might be a bucket or two in that range. <laughs> I don't think he's. I don't think he's money. Might be a good card to play though. Like I don't know. I have to. I haven't looked at alliance uh, allegiance. I keep calling it alliance uh, allegiance cards that much. I the the, the set before it uh, guilds of Ravnica or return to Ravnica. The one before it. Uh, I did pick up a booster box, and I played a lot of, I was playing on uh, Magic Arena a lot at that time, so I was seeing a lot of those cards. Um, when this set came out, I was just too busy real life. Um, shit was going down. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I totally skipped out on this. That's why I was, like, willing to, it was like, ooh, it's on sale, let's go pick up a booster box. Uh, I don't have these cards, a lot of them. Uh, Quench. I didn't uh, read the first one, sorry. Rebel Slinger. I'm not going to read. Like I said, all the... Oh, again, I love that ill-gotten inheritance. Burning Tree Vandal. Ooh, that's kind of crazy. Mutant. You know, eh, eh, I like that. I don't know if it's playable, but I like that. Uh, Rectus Locket. I've seen a million of these. <laughs> of these goblins. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Archway Angel, Blood Mist Infiltrator, and Gruel Spellbreaker. Interesting. Again, don't think that's crazy money or anything. Uh, Gruel Gilgate, I don't wanna. Uh, yeah. I think I needed some more of these lands. But uh, I'm looking for those. I'm looking for the good ones, not the gates. I'm looking for. Uh, let me go. Nah, I'll find it later. The reading pool. I was just gonna check. And I think. Uh, um, du dual lands like they pay for both, but you like have to sacrifice a life to them or something. And use them. Uh, we'll see when we hit the next one. Uh, human lizard warrior. You know, undercity scavenger. Clear the mind. Sphinx's Insight. That feels like two cards for some odd reason. It's not. Uh, Grotesque Demise. Exposed. Tyana Brawl. Night Arbiter. Okay, here we go. Uncommons. Uh, Gear Engineer. Sentinel's Mark. Smelt Ward Ignis. That's. I like that. It so. Looks like a goblin to me with a, like, a draconic face. <laughs> it's on fire. And Electro Dominance. Interesting. Uh, yeah. I have not run into another Mythic yet, and I have not run into a foil. Uh, I'm wondering. It's kind of weird that my Mythic and the foil were the, they were the same pack. I guarantee they were the same pack. Which I'm wondering for this set if, like, when you get mythics, you get your foil. It's just that that's how they did this set. They might have, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I'm not even gonna try. Prowling. Yeah, I'm not gonna try. <laughs> uh, 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 I saw some. I saw some shiny. Uh, maybe we got, well, we're about to confirm our mythic thing. So, shimmer possibility. Storm strike. Dead Revels. I like the Dead Revels. 
Uh, Sora from uh, Under City Scavenger, Senate Griffin, it's popping up again. Catacomb Crocodile, Summary Judgment, Orzhov Racketeers. Here, here we go. High alert. Followed by Syndicate Guild Mage. Followed by the Deck and Bedazzle. So I did not pull a Mythic, and I got a foil. Okay, so that ruins my my conspiracy theory of the foil thing. Okay, so foil. Now here's the thing. Did I in the previous did I ditch? Yeah I did. The racketeers. Okay. I was gonna say that I was missing I was missing an uncommon because it's three uncommons and then a rare or mythic, right? But I had to put the racketeers in the common pile. I was like, yeah, no, they didn't mess up. They didn't mess up. I messed up. I knew it. All right. All right. All right. Let's. I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> Let's open this up. I'm going a lot slower than the professionals. I know, the people that do this, but uh, I'm enjoying myself actually. All right. So, Rubble Slinger, Impression Orator, Humongulus. I've seen that played in Popper and people doing some great stuff with that and boosting it. Uh, Axe Bane Beast, Rakdos Trumpeteer, Knight Araber, Bitter, The Locket, Frenzy's Aranax, Orshav Locket, Deface, and there we go. Here we go. Let's hope for a Mythic. Alright, Senate Guild Mage. Incubation, Incongruity. Regenesis, and Revel and Revenge. Okay, interesting. Like I said, I really find these cards interesting, these dual cards. I just hate that the tiny symbols and the smaller print. I almost wish they had done these where that you flip the card and it was on the back of the card. I know why they didn't do it, but because uh, they've done that in the past, and it, I think it ended up costing them more to print those cards. I think it was just a production thing. Uh, and then they also, also cause a lot of issues, I know, uh, when people were playing like Innistrad in tournaments, and they got to pull the card out of the sleeve and flip it over, and then like, put it back in the sleeve flipped, and then like, you know, two, a turn later it's redone, flipped the other way. I wish I had my nails been a little longer. Would have helped immensely with opening the backs. Okay. Slime Bind. Spike Wheel Acrobat. Head eyes are off. Open the gate. Thirsting Shade. Rakdos Locket. Blade Juggler. And I'm seeing some shiny peeking up over the edge here. Goblin Gathering. Yeah, I like the Goblin Gathering. <laughs> I really like playing Goblin decks sometimes too. Uh, summary Judgment. Okay. There we go. Sunder Shaman? Shaman? Sunder Shaman. Shaman or Shaman? I wonder. Azorius Skyguard. Drill Bit. I like the Drill Bit. And Guardian Project. Enchantment. You wanna? I have no idea about this card at all. I don't think I've even run into it in Arena, strangely enough. Whenever a non token creature enters the battlefield, under your control, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature you control, or a creature card in your graveyard, draw a card. It is just card draw. Four for, like, card draw. Cool. If you played, if you playing that in Highlander or something. <laughs> yeah. Highlander, Commander, that would be crazy. Because singleton format, right, would make this card crazy. Uh, Prying eyes and shiny foil. Draw four cards, then discard two cards. And a Simic Guild Gate. I like the art. I really do. That that is great art. All right. Uh, spirit. So far, I have not been impressed with the tokens. I'm just gonna quickly. I have gotten some goblins. The spirit. I like that the frog lizard just gets to me. That that's great. Human ooze. Okay, I'll take the ooze. 
I will take the ooze. Alright. Uh, I think maybe another pack and we'll be at the halfway point, people. Something like that. Alright. What do we got? We got... We got a quench. Look at that. Quench. Rebel Slayer. I got popping up that guild gate every time. Like stuff in the back. Passion Order. Human goes. Noxious. You know what? Noxious is interesting. 3 for a 2 2 death touch. It's not the greatest death touch, but. You know. Death touch can be good. Caretaker. Binding. Again, another little. Goblin Gathering. Having a cookout. They're cooking rats? They're cooking rats. <laughs> Blade Juggler, I know my f my one buddy really loves this card. I don't find it crazy good, but he, he, he likes it. I know he likes it a lot. Alright, uh, here we go. Racketeers. Combine Gilmage. Cavalcade of Calamity, I like that. I like the art. Alright, and... Benefic Biomancer. I think... I think this one's okay. I'm, I'm trying to remember. Is the Biomancer worth anything? Hmm. Okay. Uh, Biomancer and Aractive Skill Gate and a Beast. Yeah, I, I don't remember if this uh, this guy here is uh, great or not. Uh, we we are we are only at three foil and one mythic, and I am halfway through the pack, like box almost, guys. That 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 is fairly low mythic uh, pull rate to me. Um. Yeah, I, I don't, I'm not, I don't know, I've been doing War of the Spark, and War of the Spark I've been consistently hitting like five to six mythics per box, um, has just been happening, uh, with War of the Spark boxes, so, that I've only pulled, I'm gonna have to go back and look, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the only mythic we've pulled so far, everything else has been... Pretty sure just a rare. Plague Bryant. Protest Demise. I don't know. I, I, I tend to stop on these green and the uh, and the black here, guys, because I play a lot of Golgari. I just I just like them. Wayfinder. Wall of Lost Thoughts. Let me see here. Yep. I was already going past. So these and then Sentinel Mark and then Hollowed Fountain. Okay. That is a nice pull, guys. That is, again, like nine bucks US at least. That one card. So let's see here. Enters the battlefield. You may pay two life. If you don't, it enters the battlefield. Tapped. Tap to add white or blue. Yeah, so that's why I think these people, yeah, these are the, these are the ones people like. Alright. And then I got to Guildgate. Oh, and a treasure fa token. You know what? I don't have a lot of those treasure artifact type tokens. I need more. I do. Okay. I'm gonna say officially that uh, that might be the halfway point. It looks like it. This pack looks like the halfway point. So, yeah. Let's see what we got. Man, why am I always having trouble at the top? If I go to the bottom, <laughs> the bottom, I can, I can get that every time. Top, I'm just, I don't know. Okay, humongous storm, civic, fairy duelist, plague, Rakdos trumpeteer, watchful giant, aeromunculus, aeromunculus, yes, goblin gathering, senate griffin. Alright, here we go. 
uncommons. Screaming Shield. Galloping Lizrog. I love that. <laughs> that's great. Like, art-wise, I guess. I like, don't know if the card's good. Spire Mangler. And Prime Speaker Vanifar. Now, Prime Speaker Vanifar is like 455 bucks, something like that. Yeah. That's my mythic, though. That's one of my other mythics. I'm wondering if I've missed a mythic. If I go back. I'm really doing that badly. Uh, breeding pool. So there's the breeding pool. Same thing, two life. Or enters the battlefield tap. No, uh, it doesn't, doesn't seem like I've missed one. That blood crypt's good. Doesn't seem like I'm missing. Mythics, anyway. So, two mythics. I don't know. I'm I'm better and I'll watch the show. I know he's not a mythic, I was just like I said, some of these cards I just haven't seen. Because I didn't play with this set. Uh, none of these doubles should be mythics. They should all be rare. Yeah, rare. Oh, uncommon. Okay, so. I thought they would all be rare, but... Okay, this is just a quick check. I, uh, my brain was insisting that, you know, halfway we should have only pulled two. <laughs> so maybe the... Maybe all the spice is in this other half. This over here. Guys, maybe it's all in here. You don't know. We'll find out. This is uh, being a way longer video than I thought it was going to be. Which is just me not going fast. I could probably, if I was just going faster, double the speed on this. Again, join Rich and Mary for awesome coverage of the world of class magic. No. If you want to, you guys go ahead. <laughs> Crawl Commando. Uh, we're just going to go through. Ooh, Rendhorn, Deface, Skitter Eel. I'm, uh, the reason I'm stopping, I was going to just go quickly and then I'm like, hey, I don't think I've seen this guard yet. Uh, Wrecking Beast, Scuttle Gator, Applied Biomancy, Skate Wing Spy. Uh, I just realized I'm not holding the cards in the greatest position. Uh, so, Skate Wing Spy was the start. Of our uncommons. Sphinx of the Guild Pack. Flames of the Raised Boar. I have uh, that from War of the Spark. And Sphinx of Foresight. It's rare. And then Arachnos Guild Gate and a human token. Who cares about my human token? Alright. Go with this one. Mythic. Mythic. <laughs> now if I pull a mythic. <laughs> That'd be sweet. If I predict the mythic, but who can predict the mythic? Who can? Not me. Alright. Yeah. Sedro. Savant. Savant. Servant? Savant. Rebel Belt. Knight of Sparrows. Slimebind. Rakdos Restabout. Kinda wanna make a Rakdos deck. Uh, Soon with Rakdos, the showstopper. Steeple Creeper, Chillbringer, Rubble Reading. There's a lot of ones with rubble, I'm noticing. Summary Judgment, Scroll. Again, I'm not holding them perfectly. Scroll, Caretaker, Rubbling Ruin, Growth Chamber Guardian, Simic Guild Gate, and the news. Okay, so my thing was a Growth Chamber Guardian. It's my rare. It's kind of coming off shiny. And I'm sorry uh, I have my window open because it's very hot here. And uh, I'm just realizing maybe that's coming onto camera. Big trucks are rolling past my house for some reason. Uh, don't know why. Alright, so um, on to the next one. That was not a mythic. My mythic prediction skills were very horrible. <laughs> Though I did uh, 
that the yeah growth chamber guardian i did like that rare uh and like i said i play a lot of golgari so black green uh certain ones like that i've seen that de that played in a lot of uh golgari decks uh, pegasus look at that pegasus you know what? I think there is the optimal thing for you guys to view. View cards. Quench. Rubble Slinger. Hiding behind rubble stick is the Steeple Creeper. The Rakdos Rasta. Burn Bright. Grasping Thrall. Again, another one. Well, not in Golgari, but I've been seeing this played a lot in Popper. Skittering Ale. Uh, Tepidur's Transport. I always thought that was a bear. <laughs> it's a thrall. Uh, uh, locket. Here we go. Yeah. Locket was not yet. So here we go. Here's the uh, Bolarak Clan Crusher. Light up the stage. It's Tin Street Dodger. There's that Goblin Rogue. And Stomping Ground. There we go. That is money. That's like 10 bucks. It's like 960 something, whatever. 10 bucks US, roughly. Uh, so, yeah, money. Uh, I, I think I've... I think I've made back... Roughly what uh, I paid for the pack, for sure. If I went out and bought, because I've gotten like four of those lands that are like 10 bucks US each. I've got Kaya, which she should be like 10 to 25. Uh, I, I don't know about the Prime Speaker. I think, like I said, he's five bucks. Four, four fifty. With the can horrible exchange rate currently. I think it's something like, uh, one US dollar is a dollar thirty-four Canadian or something right now. Like, it's, it's, it's high at the moment compared to, like, I, I hate it. <laughs> uh... Pegasus. I'm just gonna go through the spear spewer. I'm just gonna go through these guys fast. You oh mammoth spider. Like I said. Oh file payment. I I, I, I started saying I'm gonna go through the fast and then I'm stopping. <laughs> Alright. Gruel Beastmaster. Galloping Lizrog. Gates of Blaze and Biogenic Ooze. Ah, we pull the Biogenic Ooze. That is a mythic. Uh, Biogenic Ooze is worth, yeah, like 525, 527, something like that. That is, that is good. There's a Mythic. And a Shiny, Shiny Simic Ascendancy, which is a rare. That is nice. A foil rare. I don't think any of my other foils were rares. Nope. That, that, that is good. Uh, foil rares are good. <laughs> I will take a foil rare. Uh, so that, I don't know. That was a mythic with another shiny foil. And that was, yeah. We're almost another three packs and we're two-thirds of the way through. Uh, I'm making this extremely long video. It's me babbling on forever. But hey, whatever. Feral, Concordiant. I can see shiny. I've already done that, so you know what? I'm just going to go through these ones quick so we can get to that shiny. Get to that shiny, shiny. Rubble. Mortify. Alright, here we go. Code of Constraint. Followed by Dovin's Acuity. Followed by Incubation Druid. Nice. Uh, that means maybe I already took off this. Somewhere, one of the uncommon. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm delaying, but I must have done that. Yeah, I did. Mortify. Mortify. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Incubation Druid, great card. I love this card. Uh, 350 US, something like that right now. This, this is a good card for lots and lots of uh, decks. Like I said, Golgari I play, so this is great. And then an Imperious... Imperious Oligarch? I guess I pronounce it. Imperious. Shiny. 
And Rectos and a Spirit. I'm not really impressed with the Spirit tokens. I want more of my Frog Lizard or whatever the hell that was. Mm -hmm. Who needs 1-1 one, one Flying Spirits? <laughs> They're pretty good. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Who doesn't love a Frog Lizard token? Savage Smash. Okay. Uh, vampire. You know what? I don't think we've seen one of these yet. Uh, arrested. I'm seeing Shiny again. I've just uh, scorched Scorch Mark. Plague. Cliffbringer. Chillbringer. Sorry, I almost called him Cliffbringer. Rubble Reading. Lay Juggler. Watchful Giant. Uh, there's the first one. Enraged. Keratok. Keratok? Hmm. The Rhino. Okay. Swirling Torrent. Resolute Watchdog. Eh. Lumbering Battlement. Creature Beast. Interesting. And then a very shiny Carnival Carnage. You know what? I like that. We're gonna hit in the foils now. We are hitting foils. I'm enjoying the foils. And an emblem. Domri. At the beginning of each end step, create a 4 4 red and beast. Red and green beast creature token with trample. I think we picked up one of those in here so far. Uh, I do have her, actually, as a planeswalker. I have her from the set, uh, the deck you can buy. Alright. See if I can go fast on this one. Fairy Duelist, Gore Clan Wrecker, Undercity Scavenger, Sylvan Bush Rider, Skitter Eel, Wrecking Beast, Scuttle Gator, Applied Biomancy, Gateway Plaza, Debitors Transport. Alright. Now we're into the, the good stuff. Biogenic Upgrade. Tin Street Dodger, Sky Tether, and Domri Chaos Bringer. There we go, we hit her. We hit the Planeswalker. Now, this is a mythic. Cool. Cool on the mythic. Do I get the foil? Nope, no foil. Um, I have no idea what she's worth. None at all. Uh, they're saying... <laughs> 260. For the Planeswalker. She's, uh, she's not bad. So, but 260? Ouch. Ouch. You know what? I wouldn't mind making a gruel deck. A red book green deck. Uh, I just... Oh, I'm opening this way off camera. <laughs> I realized. Uh, Arrestor Zeal. Slime Bind. Undercity Embrace. Terrorial Boar, Titanic Brawl, Gross Spiral, 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 Exposed to Daylight, and I'm showing off something. Uh, grotesque Demise, Thanks is Insight, Burn Bright, and here we go. Sunder Shaman, Sunder Shaman, Gateway Sneak, it's a nice card, Wall of Lost Thoughts, and Simic Ascendancy. There we go. Uh, What's that? Yeah, that's the one we got in foil. We have a foil of Simic Ascendancy. That was our, uh, that was our rare foil, which I was happy about. Ooh, there we go. Token Sphinx. Well, we'll see how I, uh, how I'm doing. I'm now happy that I've hit four Mythics. Uh, if I get one more mythic, I will be satisfied. I would prefer two, but five to a box should be the average, isn't it? You know, should have at least five mythics per box, yeah? Who knows? Coral Commando, Gravelhide Goblin. Who knows? Not me. <laughs> to Territorial Boar, Axe Beast, Axe Bane Beast, Frenzy's Arnax. Yeah, I like that card. I like just the art. Rip. Uh, 
Come back here. Just escaping, trying to ruin my my lovely presentation. Uh, Locket, Wrecking Beast, Senate Courier, Scuttle Gator, and now we're into stuff. Okay. Hackrobat. Rally to battle. Param Petromander? Petromander, I think is how you pronounce it. It's one of the Drakes. Great to run in ye. Is it uh, Drake deck? Uh, ooh, Theater of Horrors. Ooh, that is a lovely card art wise. And Missouri Skill Kit. Now, there could be great cards, guys, that I am like pulling and like to play with. They are a great card. I have no idea. Like I said, I haven't really touched these cards too much. I ended up having to try and play a little catch up when more of the spark came out. Um, because these are now, like, playable. Uh, mostly I was playing, like, in arena with them. Um, yeah, so there could be great playable cards. I just don't know about them yet. So, literally, all I have to go on right now is the money aspect of, uh, whether that card is worth money. That, that, uh, that's just because I haven't played with the set. The more I play with it and I go, oh, that's a great card, I will be happy when I recognize that I had, I pulled some great cards for playing. Um, I just, like I said, I haven't touched this. There you go, guys. Free arena code of Play Allegiance. If you don't get your free packs on Magic Arena, it unlocks the free boosters. Every, uh, I think, uh, Ravnica, Allegiance, and War of the Spark all had codes that you could have put in for three free booster packs, so go and pick them up. You can find the codes online if you... I, I don't think there's any um, wait time. Like, they, I think the codes are all still good. There's. And I'm curious to see what happens with Modern Horizons if they uh, have a code for that. Because I know the guild kits didn't have codes. Some of the decks that you can get now have codes. Like the pre... Uh, Planeswalker decks that you can buy per, for, for, for the sets. Prying Eyes, Spike Wheel Acrobat, Twilight Panther, I don't think we pulled one of those yet today. Sage Rampaging, Consigned to the Pit, Catacomb, Catacomb Crocodile, I think. It's very dark art, but I would love to see what this looks in foil. Summary Judgment, Caretaker, Chillbringer, Biogenic Upgrade, that is the first one yet. Okay, Biogenic Upgrade. Windstorm Drake. Night of the Last Breath. Look at that, look at that. And Zeringa, Utopian Speaker. Okay. I have no idea again what she's worth. I don't think she's high in the money zone. She might be cool playable. She is a legendary creature, so this is a great pickup for me for looking to see if I can make a grand commander death off of her sometime later. Uh, like I said, I'm always happy for legendary creatures um, for commander purposes. Even if they don't become the commander, they fit in a lot of commander decks later to get like synergized with commanders. I find. Okay. Rubble Belt Recluse. Signed to the pit. Skitter Eel, Wrecking Beast, Scuttle Gator, Applied Biomancy, Gateway Plaza, Debitor's Transport, Clamor Shaman, Smeltwort Ignis. Is the first one? Yeah, he's the first one. Yeah, nope. Clamor Shaman was the first one. I just, I don't know why on these ones I'm having such a hard time recognizing when I hit the uncommons. Uh, Swirling Torrent, and oh, Godless Shrine. This is number three, guys, uh, in the money list. This is like over 10 bucks. It's almost 11 bucks, right? at least, minimum. All right, Godless Shrine. And I'm gonna put that in the wrong spot. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back and find those later and just be like, yeah. Uh, so I'm pretty damn sure I've made my money back. Um, with the exchange rate, I, I'm at least breaking, breaking even in a sense. Uh, what I got, what I paid for the pack, versus what I'm getting out of it. Um, I will admit, a big thing's going to be down to what Kai is actually worth. If Kai is worth 25 or 10, 
uh, makes a big difference. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm pulling good stuff. Like I said, most of those lands are, that I'm hitting, uh, that are rare lands or whatever, that are not the gates, the ones that are going into this pile, are 10 bucks. Straight up 10 bucks. Okay, so. Uh, Glor Clan, Civic, Mammoth, Gateway, Debutor, Simic Locket, Grasping Thrall, Syndicate Messenger, Root Snare. There we go, Arcway Angel, Dagger Caster, Clan Gill Mage, and Ver Ver Verity Circle? Variety? Verity. Verity Circle. No idea. Oh, but I got myself a foil and ranged Karatok. Foil is nice. I'll take a foil. And then Gilgate Nanus. Nothing to go crazy about, but I will take a nice little shiny foil. I like that. Look, look, look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, uh, that's nice. I do, I don't play with the foils. I don't intentionally go hunting them, like, in when I'm buying singles or something. Um, but I do like the look of having foils when I get them. Um, I'm thinking of doing, like, a uh, card wall art poster that like, you get the um, you sleeve them in, and I want to put just foils in a bunch of them. I want it to be like a big poster looking thing, um, just to hang on my wall, because uh, I like a lot of the Magic: The Gathering art, and a lot of foils aren't like crazy worth a ton of money. Some of them are though, like you know, but I just like the foils uh, for that idea. So Savage Smash, Twilight Panther, Persistent. Petitioners. Petitioners, yeah. Scorch Mark. Long Age Finding. Angelic. Oh, I don't think we've hit one of these yet. Which would make sense that it is an uncommon and not. Okay. Sphinx of New Prava. We had one of those earlier. Uh, Spirit of the Spires. I don't think we had one of those. Oh! Oh! I just hit Judith. Judith! The Scourge Diva. Now, again, I don't know if she's worth a lot of money. She's probably worth like a couple bucks. Three, four. But uh, she's fun to play with. Another legendary uh, Rakdos. She's just, yeah, fun. <laughs> Other creatures you control get plus one, plus zero. Whenever a non creature token you control dies due to the Scourge Diva deals one damage to any dart. So when your guys die, you can start spreading around the damage. And she gives everybody a plus one, plus zero. Now all other creatures you control. And then we have an Awaken, the Erstwhile. Which is nice, because it is a foil rare. That is very nice. Look at that. Look at that shine. Yeah. I like that. Alright, cool. Uh, again, she's probably worth a couple bucks. At least a buck. She's got to be worth at least a buck. Let me scroll and see if I can find Domina. Is she really all the way down? Dollar sixty-six, according to TCG player. If I go to Goldfish, is she worth more? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> uh, oh, over here it's saying that Prime Speaker Vanifar, that guy on Goldfish, is seven eighty-three, which is weird because he is nowhere near that price. I don't think on TCG player. Weird. <laughs> So I'm a little disconcerting that uh, the prices are so different between the two websites. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to make that. I, I really don't. Because um, I thought both of those are updated daily. <laughs> uh, so maybe one is not. And that would make me sad. Because then I'll be way off of... Uh, Again, I'm opening the pack, like, way off camera. <laughs> Which I guess it doesn't matter. I can open the pack off camera and then bring the cards in. But you probably want to see me open the pack. Because that's what you're here for, if you're here. Actually, this is probably going to be, like, one of my special videos. It might, I don't know if it'll be, it might just be friends, patrons, and stuff only. We'll see. 
we'll see. Because I'm a gaming channel, I'm a video gaming channel. Like, I just like playing Magic in real life, and I'm gonna probably start streaming Arena a lot. Uh, so we'll see. Alright, we're just gonna go. We'll go go. I'm not gonna read. I'm just gonna go. Because you've seen these cards. All the w oh, Did I do it again? I did it, I did it again. Clear the stage. Caval Cavalcade of Calamity. Forbidden Spirit. And... Ooh, Angel of Grace. Mythic. I hit a Mythic. I am happy that I hit a Mythic. Oh. Oh, Foil Cool Cool Kill Kate. Yeah, followed by a regular... <laughs> nice. I like that one. Like, not, like, look at that one. And look at that one. Like, this is the cooler card to get in Foil. This is the card you want foil, right? Like, this is to die. <laughs> Whatever, it's a little... Like, a door with two torches. <laughs> Alright, there's that mythic again. Angel of Grace. Yeah. Ugh! Open on camera. Open. Camera makes the, the pack open. You want? Know it seems also if I do it this way, I have way better luck at opening the pack. Now we only got like three more to go after this. I got this one and three more. Alright, so prowling. Let's just go. Bring to trial. Give to strength. Put my fiend. Final payment. Ill gotten inherits. I'm happy that I think I got like three or four of these now. Because if I get a set of four, uh, I will run these in a lot of popper decks. Actually, I think you could run that in mainline decks, too, but uh, you wouldn't want to run four. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see where we're at. Basilica Bell Haunt. Bankrupted Blood. Forbidding Spirit. And, uh, 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 Replicate. Repudiate. Replicate the repudiate. Repudiate. Rakdos. And a zombie. I think this is the first zombie token we've gotten <laughs> out of this set. I don't think we've pulled another zombie. And that's a really cool looking zombie. It's kind of like, I don't know, conquistador, sword, I don't know. That is a good looking zombie. Yeah, he's definitely like Kilgari zombie, I think. Looks cool. Alright, three packs to go. Alright, we try again. The bottom is best. I don't know why. The bottom is best. Boop, boop, boop. Boom. I don't know why I was about to like break out in the Chia song. <laughs> Ch -ch -ch Chia! Alright. Uh, oh, vampire. I don't think there's anything new here. Uh, I don't know if we had a messenger before. We definitely had a root snare. Okay, screamy shield. I recognize that that was the uncommon. So, cool. So, screaming shield. Right, we'll go like right about here. We go, Windstorm Drake, Scrabbling Crawl, Claws, I am Warrant Warden. Yeah, it's uh, it's not bad, not great, not bad. Thopter, I think that's the first Thopter token uh, that we've gotten out of this set. Okay. Two more packs to go. Ooh. Okay, we got our Rebel Belt Runner. Tenth District Veteran. Prying Eyes. Spear Spewer. Goblin Gathering. Payment. There we go. All right. Ministrant of Obligation. 
followed by Concentrate and Consume, followed by Azoria Skyguard, and then I already know my rare, it's a rare, is going to be red. It's Amplifier. Amplifier. Look at that big fiery goblin. Creature elemental. Okay, cool. First off, Guild Gate. And a beast. There's the beast. 4-4 four, four with Trample. Green and red. Alright, alright. Amplifier. No idea if it's good or bad or if it's in money. Final pack. Alright, counting up. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mythics. So, if we pull a mythic out of this, I'll be extremely happy. If not, I'm satisfied. 5 mythics is average, I believe, for a box. You hit 6, you're good. You're, you're, you're above average. And if you hit 7, I think it's possible, but it almost never happens. I think that's, that's like the grand slam of mythics pulling from a booster box. I could be wrong, there could be a set that, that had that, uh, that's different, but... Alright, so, bringing to trial. I don't think we've seen that. I don't think we've seen that bringing to trial, yeah? Had we? I don't know. Alright. Coral Commando. Sagittarius Volley. Clear the Mind. Rafter Demon. Skewer the Critics. Blade Brand. Titanic Brawl. I think that's our first Titanic Brawl. I don't remember seeing another one of those. I might be wrong. Growth Spiral. Alright, here we go. Gateway Sneak. Oh, I might have ruined it. Somebody probably saw. Spire Mangular. Oh, Carnival Carnage. Roop. Alright, and what do we get? Ethereal Absolution. An enchantment. Hmm. The Simic Guild Gate and the Spirit. Okay. Okay. So, definitely some money in this pile. Uh, most of those I, I hit. Four to five? I want to say comfortably f four. But I think I hit a fifth of those lands cards that are basically worth ten bucks a piece. Um, we ended up getting one, two, three, four, five mythics, yeah, uh, and possible money on, bigger money on these two, and then I think the, the ooze is worth like a couple bucks, or four or five bucks, something like that, so these are probably worth like at least two, and then the thing is we hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine foils, and I think two of our foils are rare. We had... Yeah, we had the Ascendancy. And we had... The Awaken the Erstwhile rares in foil. Uh, so, two foil rares are nice. You know? Uh, these might be worth a couple bucks each, too. These might be worth, like, four or five bucks. Hopefully. I don't know. I'll have to check them. Uh... And then the one I am really liking in the foil. You know what? I would say... I would say this Pegasus is also pretty... Like, just prettiness of the foil. I really like this one. I like the, the volley of the... I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, the arrows that are being fired at the drakes and stuff have... Uh, the, the feathers are green. And they're shiny, <laughs> and it's just I really like as I move the card for me, I see the, uh, the those prominently stick out. Um, and then this Pegasus actually is just very nice looking. So anyway, um, yeah, I think uh, we are gonna wrap the video there. And uh, yeah, that was my uh, Ravnica Allegiance Alliance. Allegiance. Ravnica Allegiance. I keep saying Alliance. I keep wanting to say Alliance, but it's Ravnica Allegiance uh, booster box opening. And uh, yeah, I just want to give out again a shout to my buddy Crazy Train 101 because he is the one that uh, kind of ex inspired me to go out and uh, buy the booster box and open it on camera. 
I've bought many a booster box before, but to open it on camera was uh, kind of inspired, uh, inspired by him talking to me and saying like he enjoyed watching those kind of videos. So yeah, um, we'll see if I do another one in the future. If I do, I might be doing one soon on a Modern Horizons because like I said, that's coming out in the weekend and I might buy a box. We'll see. I might not buy one at pre-release. I'm, I'm debating buying it at pre-release because I know I can get it cheaper after pre-release. The only reason to buy it at pre-release would be the box topper, which I don't think is crazy, crazy value uh, for the amount of discount I can buy it later from my other from my other connection. We will see, anyways, guys. So thanks for watching the video, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one.